Adam here with Wholesale Septic. We're going to go over a three float system and how it works. So you'll have three floats if you have a timer uh, on your system and a lot of people have timers on their system because uh, the government doesn't want them spraying uh, during the day uh, and then it's smelling and then getting 15,000 calls complaining about septic systems. So when you have a three float system, um, what you have is um, <clears throat> you have three floats. The floats this float doesn't work when it's up in the on position, okay? And the reason for that is, is because, um, let me turn this off. The reason for that is, is because um, <clears throat> there's a timer, and the timer has to be engaged for the, for, uh, to be allowed to be energized, okay? So your second float, your override, and if that turns on, if that gets hit, then the pump will turn on. So that's what this, you know, second float is here for when you have a three float system is for the uh, pump to turn on so the tank doesn't overfill and flood. Then your third float, that's your alarm. So uh, that's why you have three floats. This is your primary control float here. Um, you can do things. If you don't like your timer and you just can't stand it, there is a button you can hit in here. This little switch. So you can move that up. And then that'll automatically kick the pump on. So it, it turns it from timer to in demand. Um, and then here you'd put it here and there you're in timer position. This comes up, doesn't come on, you'd have to set it here and that's a separate video. But anyways, uh, that's what a three float system is, what it looks like um, and why you have three different floats on your uh, septic system. All right, hope you guys have a great day.